What's up, everyone? I'm Timothy Almond Jr., and this is Milam Asylo. Yes, you guessed it, and you've seen it. Doing an alcohol review. Whoosh. Or, whoosh. Knuckle. Knuckle noggin. It's upside down. So, knuckle noggin, salted caramel whiskey. Uh, so these three knuckle noggins are sitting at the bar. Where's the punchline? I don't know. Um, real caramel shake well, salted caramel whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's got the uh, fluid ounces on the side so you can uh, monitor whether or not your kids are sneaking your shit. Yeah. All right, knuckle noggin, net content, 750 milliliters, 35% alcohol, 70 proof. Bottled by Hanbury Spirits in Vista, California. Please drink responsibly. It's got a little uh, brochure up here. Never mind, it's just got a tag up here. And it's got this cool fucking top, so. All right. Let's let us get in and uh, see what this is all about. It's got a nice, convenient, uh, perforated pull tab, so you're not fighting this. I've never worked one of these mechanisms before, so I'm not sure what we're getting. Uh, I'm not. I don't know how it works. Like some kind of like game. Uh, pole leverage. There we go. Dude, I don't. I don't know. I don't have a clue. That's fucking crazy. Um. Hmm. It's one of those old school mechanisms. It's like a game. It's like a game. Huh. Like a total complete game. Game changer. And I just want to be with you. Since you've been gone. I can't figure out how to open this goddamn thing. I'm guessing it's something to do with leverage. Ah! Okay. Oh! Yeah, yeah, did it. That's kind of cool. It's not even, hardly even pressed on there. So you can just easily, if you take the cellophane off. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I think I'm going to try two other caramel alcohol flavors. So, and I don't. I even remember what those were. I want to say one was bird dog. And I have no fucking clue what the other one would be. But this smells really fucking good. Alright, so... I got this in Oak Grove, which is in Milwaukee, Oregon. And this bottle here alone was thirty-five sixty. Yeah, expensive as shit. I know. Um. So thirty-five sixty. Is it worth it? Is it good? How's it taste? Flavor? Blah blah blah. It's overpriced. That's for sure. Would I personally buy this again? Yes, I actually enjoyed the flavor. Um, it did give you that um, that unique salted caramel, um, kind of like a like a like a Starbucks salted caramel um, drink. It's got that flavor. 
but you get a slight burn and it's not a heavy burn um, that you can tolerate. Um, you can pretty much damn near chug this bottle. I wouldn't recommend it. You're going to get fucked up pretty quick and possibly die. But, uh, it comes in with the sweet caramel followed by that saltiness flavor with the burn of the whiskey. Now, you do, however, still have that whiskey flavor, but it's not as prominent. Um, due to the fact that the salted caramel flavor lingers longer, which in my opinion that always gets the best scores is when the flavor actually lasts because then I know that the uh, The makers of this took pride in what they did and they wanted an actual solid product uh, Now 3560 is a lot of fucking money for fifth um, So uh, that's going to deter a lot of people, but this is actually worth it. It's actually really good. Um, could they bring it down to like $20 a bottle? Well, sure, and they'll make even more money because um, it's cheaper, and it is a good product. Um, but they have pride in their work and themselves, so they want to offer a product that's a little bit higher priced um, to kind of set it apart from others. And I admire that, and I think that's great. Um, they're not super mon money hungry. Um, plus, they got a cool, unique way of labeling the products, which I'm always a fan of. But anyways, this is getting a 9.7 out of 10. That's your review. I'm Timothy Almond Jr., and until next time, fuck off.